It's been a long road Getting from there to here It's been a long time But my time is finally near Hey guys, this is Corey. Back to take a look at the fourth starship from Eagle Moss, the Enterprise NX-01. Now this probably makes me a horrible Star Trek fan, but I've never actually seen an episode of Enterprise. They're all on Netflix now, so I really have no excuse. And one of these days I'll rectify that. Back when it first premiered, I don't think the young Corey appreciated all of the erotic and sensual decontamination chamber scenes, but so I can never really get into it. Um, so I really don't know anything about this ship from the series. But looking at the design from an overall perspective, I find it very interesting what the designers were thinking. It seems like they took elements from the original series and older designs, like these round warp nacelles, and paired that with elements from later ship designs, like the lower saucer section. It's an interesting fusion of time periods. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Akira class, and I believe I've read that the designers used that as inspiration. Um, but I still find it a little odd pairing. But overall, I like the, I like the build of this ship. Um, the saucer section here is all die cast. The only thing that's plastic are the warp nacelles. Um, the paint job is good. I like the detail of the hull lines here, in addition to the little windows. Um, I, think, I think this model has good detail in the paint job and of the texture of the die cast. Um, let me move this around just so you can, guys can get a better view. There are a couple small seams on the warp nacelles, but nothing that I think takes away from the model overall. Um, I like the translucent red of the the tips of the nacelles um, but yeah I think there's good detail just overall looking at the bottom here uh, you know I like I said I like the texture um, I also like how they integrated some of the technological difficulties of the time into the design of the ship um, on the nacelle pylons there in the center it's a symmetrical warp governor. And I like how some of those challenges of the era, they integrated that into the design. Um, it seems like with the design overall, they had some good ideas, and but some questionable ones. And, and for me, this design just never comes together. Um, but this is a great model. The magazine that it comes with is, is great. I love these diagrams. And that part is consistently good um, with these Eagle Moss models. Um, so yeah, I, I like this week. Next week, we're going to take a look at the Romulan Warbird. Thanks for watching, guys. You must really be proud of yourself. You can put an end to this mission while the captain's still unconscious in sickbay.